In this lesson, let's go and see about the report server and its configuration and how the setup is done and where to find the setup and configuration and how and where is the deployment of the deployment of all of the reports and where to find all of its configuration. So in this lesson, we'll go and see some of the basic stuff that we need to know before we go and get to go and start it with our report development. So first of all, I'll go to our system administration over here. If you go to the system administration over here and we can go to the business intelligence over here and we have a report server over here so let's open the report server and uh, you will see that we have all of the report server configuration over here basically you can create a multiple configuration and this is the configuration id that it will be set to our database and it's a default configuration so if we have a multiple configuration uh, this configuration uh, may be depending on the server so if you have a multiple report server and you can set up the configuration for the each server so this is a default configuration it is checked by default and you can see the server name this is the report server name and the instance name of the sql server so this is the sql server instance name and this is the report server manager from where we can manage the report and web service url is this one so and here it says that another next thing is the microsoft dynamic x report folder so on which folder that is saved and the application object server so we have only one application object server so it is listed over here and after we set up all of this and if you try if you have set up another report server and we need to set up this configuration correctly so if we never set up this uh, server or the configuration correctly over here the your report will not work so make sure all of your configuration like your server name and the instance name and the, the report manager url and all of these things like the application object server through so which server you have set up for your ur uh, your report so all of this should match so another thing that we can do over here is after we set up everything, we can validate the setting. So you can just click on the validate setting. This will go and validate all of your report server setting. So here you can see that the validation has been successful and you can see that it has success. Let's close this one. And the next thing we will check over here is the report. Uh, manager URL and you uh, report a uh, web service URL. So just copy this URL and I'll just go to the IE or Internet Explorer. So make sure you use the Internet Explorer because it works best in the Internet Explorer. If you try to use the Firefox or the Chrome, then sometimes it doesn't work as expected. You may not see some of the things or you may not see drop down. So it doesn't work as expected. So make sure you user ie or internet explorer so this is the you can see when i click on now when i open that url you can see we come to the report server from where you are this is a report server manager if you go to the configuration you can see the report manager url so from here we can manage so this is a dynamic ax folder that we have set over here so whatever we set it will be created over here so this is the dynamic x folder and inside this we have all of the reports so if you just open that one you can see that all of the re deployed report are here so when we create a new report and we deploy it it will come to this folder and you can find it over here so if you have added any report over here you can just after you create a report and deploy it it will come to this server or the url so it is a place where all of your report will be stored so whether if you want to check whether your report has been successfully deployed you can come here and check it so that is our report report manager url so you can come and check over here and if you just go back and you can also set the like the security over here and you can just click on the security and you can check the security of this one and also if you go and if drop down you can see the manage you can also go to the manage section and over here properties right the folder all of these are over here and just go back 
I'll go back to the home and also you have uh, some of the like a data source over here so some of the manage uh, report server manager you can configure from here you just go back to the home and also we have a site setting you go to the site setting and you see all of the settings over here security and you have uh, administrator and also the domain user so all of these are over here so you can see all of these things have been set up over here in the setting and let's go back to the home section over here and in the home section you can uh, go to the folder setting by right? folder setting this is the security that ha it has controls or domain user if you can see that it has the permission or the role to browse and uh, content manage and man my report publish so actually domain users have all of the permission if you check over here you can see this domain user has all of the permission and the administrator has the content manager so if you want to add a new 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 role or create a new role or assign you can just search by the group from the domain controller so if you have created a user in a domain controller you can just come and search that user and give a specific permission to that specific user or the group so whether user have only permission to uh, publish or it has uh, the browse so if user can browse the particular report so this is the setup uh, permission setup things that we can do over here and the next is uh, we have another url we can just select this url and copy this one and just go to the next tab over here and let me uh, let me open that url and you can see this is just a report server url and just click on dynamic x this will list all of the full uh, all of the reports that we have here so that's the thing about the report uh, manager url and the web service url and the next thing that we will look into is the the database so if you go to the database uh, just open your sql server and we can go to the database over here and we can check the database for our report so i think the report database is not here so what we'll do is we will connect just go to connect and from here you can see the analysis service you can say database and we can select the reporting uh, reporting service select that one connect and uh, let's check the report so this is the report server configuration over here we have uh, anything that's a role you know, like the role browser and the content manager all of this as the role has been set up over here and now let's let's open the database so i'll connect and i'll connect to select the database engine from here and just connect it and now that will open for us the database so let's go to the database section over here and here you will find the report database if you go to somewhere here this should be our report uh, reports report database so let's try to find out the report database that we have over here so the report server and the report server then db will be used by the report server so these are the two databases that you need to take care whenever we are dealing with the report server so this is the database section and this is our the next thing is over here this is the report server database you can see and this is the what we have set up over here is the, this so this is the mysql server instance and this is the server right so this is we check this is the server ax uh, ax 2012 r2a so that is the server name that we have set up over here and the server instance name is that one so this is the uh, where we have our database and the uh, next thing is uh, we will go to the report server configuration manager so that one is over here and this is the report server configuration manager just connect it so select the server name and the uh, our report server instance and just click on ok 
And over here we have some of the things that we need to need to take care is the uh, the service account that is going to run. The service for our reporting service will be run based on the, this one. And uh, if you go to the service, let's open the service. And if you go to somewhere like a SQL Server and the SQL Server reporting service, you can see it's run the username console slash admin. And if you check that one, it's uh, over here. So that's the reporting service coming from there. And we have a web service URL that basically we have already used that one and the database that is going to use. So is the database we have over here, which is a report server database data database name is report server. So if you go to the database over here and you will see somewhere here report server. So that's the database is going to use. You can know it from here. So this is the report server configuration manager. So if you want to check uh, regarding the report server database and the server name, you can come and check over here. And this is the report manager URL. We can basically we have already checked how to manage all of the reports. And the next uh, thing we will check over here is the email setting i think if you want to set, set up some email configuration like a it sends some notification or something so you can set up email over here and the execution account we have this is the account that will be used so specific sp specify this account to enable the user of the report data source that do not require such credential or connect to the remote server that store the external image so all of this is the execution account so basically we will configure the database over here and also the the service current report server database assistance. so all of these things that we if you want to change uh, like your database and configuration and the username for your report server so you should come over here so i think that's all for this lesson we have we have basically learned about the some of the basic configuration things where it's stored, where it's kept, and where if you have any problem, then where you should look at into it. So basically the things that we will learn over here is the report server and the report server deployment setting is uh, users you want to deploy which of the things. Basically this is by default, so you don't have to uh, come and change any other things over here. Like specific, if you have some specific things that you want to do, uh, you can do, but basically we will make use of the report server for our configuration and report de deployment. So this is the main thing that you need to take care. So um, sometimes if your report is not working correctly or it's not uh, displayed or you see the report is not there. So you have to come here and check whether all of the configuration match or not. And the database, if you want to check the database, you should go to the your report server configuration manager and check the database and the connection all of the things and if you want to check your reports deployment so you should go to the uh, url manager so from here where the report server url manager from where you can manage all of your reports and also we can set the permission and securities over here so i hope you guys got, got and understand some of the basic stuff that we need to a no before we can go and develop the report and deploy the report so when we deploy the report we'll come back and check over here so whether that report has been uh, deployed correctly over here or not and if you want to set some specific permission um, for the user and uh, we'll come over here and we'll set that permission too so that's all for this lesson we'll continue with our lesson in the next video till then have a